much, if you would, talk about your spring season. It's kind of one of the hidden gems of collegiate soccer. How difficult is your spring season? How competitive will it be? I think it's difficult, competitive. Um, I think it's exciting because, as I said, as we brought in Keegan Smith to play. Um, we have Theo coming in, uh, Kellen back. So we're adding three basically you know, new players to the mix uh, and trying to get them acclimated as soon as we can to try to see how, how we're going to be in the fall and, and start working out some positions. Obviously, we have the young guys coming in, but uh, it's an exciting time for us right now is we're actually leaving on March 15th and we're heading down to, uh, to Tampa, Florida for the week. Uh, that's our spring break here at DU, and the guys were committed to say, let's give up our spring break this year because we want to try to take the program to the next level. Um, and we're going away from the 15th through the 21st. And while we're down in Florida, we're going to head over to Bradenton um, and play the U-17, the U.S. U-17 national team uh, on a Thursday. And then uh, we go back into Tampa, and we're going to play a very good University of South Florida team um, coached by George Kiefer, a good friend of mine. Uh, so I, I think we'll, we'll be put to the test right away. I think the new guys will be put to the test right away. And then we come home uh, and we continue. Uh, one of the better Division II programs in the country, we play the Colorado School of the Mines. Um, and then the schedule continues. We go out to Creighton to play Creighton University, uh, which is a great game for us. It's, you know, Coach Warming uh, has been great to me since I've been here and, and been able to play them. I think this is the third time in three seasons, which is exciting for us and, and, and gives us a great preparation uh, for our next game, which we actually kick off against the Colorado Rapids um, over at Dick Sporting Goods Park, which for our guys is a great experience to say, hey, a lot of our guys have aspirations about being professionals. Well, this is this is what it's like, and uh, sometimes it's it, you know it's very exciting to play the rabbit. Sometimes it's very humbling as well, uh, and it shows you. But you know who's going to sink or swim? So a great opportunity there. And then we're actually going to uh, we come back here for our second annual fundraiser game. Um, last year we played Regis at Englewood High School, where we had it was greatly received. Um, all the proceeds go to the program. Uh, and this year we're playing the Division II national champions here at I say the completed. Uh, Denver Soccer Stadium. As you know, last year, you know, we played in it, but it wasn't fully complete. Now it's complete. Um, so, you know, we're, ticket sales started on that, and we've had a great response already, but we're playing Fort Lewis here on April 17th. Uh, and then we'll end the season, which we did it last year as well, uh, is playing an alumni game, an, op an opportunity for the alumni to come back and play against the guys, and actually another opportunity for us to put, you know, uh, guys on the field and compete. So we're, we're looking forward to it. It's going to be challenging. We do it in a very short period of time. Uh, and, and we're fortunate. You know, the administration has, has backed us 100% and has funded us to be able to take trips like we are, going to Florida, um, going to Creighton, being able to leave. And I know it's a day trip to the Rapids, but uh, we're fortunate with the support that we're getting right now. excited about the spring.